Oh, we are at 81% battery. All right, it is I, back to show you yet another Resolve plugin that can probably help you to save a project that you're working on. This is what the audio sounds like without it, and this is what it sounds like with it. It's called Supertone Clear, and this video isn't sponsored. It would have been the smarter move for me to reach out to the people who make it to ask if they want to sponsor it, but I did not. At the time of recording this, it costs $69, but I think this is some sort of sale price because above that on the website, it says that it's usually 99, but there is a free trial that you can download to see if you even like it. And before somebody gets angry at me, the reason I'm calling it a Resolve plugin is because that's where I use it, but it's actually a VST plugin, so you can use it in any other software that supports those. And it's basically a plugin that you use to remove the background noise and reverb from the audio in your videos. It's supposed to use fancy buzzwords, artificial intelligence to analyze your audio and give you better results. And I don't know if that's actually the case, but honestly, I don't really care. As long as it does a good job, you might as well tell me that it's like using magic to do what it does. It's kind of like the built-in voice isolation in Resolve, but with this one, you get a little bit more control over what it's doing. And sometimes you kind of need that. A lot of the time, voice isolation does a great job at cleaning up your audio, but sometimes you don't actually want to remove absolutely all of the background noise and reverb because things can start sounding overprocessed. You start losing out on frequencies from the voice of whoever is speaking and things just don't sound right. So that's when having a little bit more control that this plugin gives you can be really useful. When you download it, you get a simple installer file that you use to set it up and then you find it in your effects library under the audio effects and VST. You drop it on whatever audio clip or entire track you want to use it on and the control panel for it should open up. You've got the three main knobs that you're going to be working with. One for ambience, which is essentially background noise, voice, which is your voice volume, and one for reverb. Above them, you've got waveforms showing you the original audio levels for each of those things in gray and the adjusted levels in blue. You have buttons to solo each of them so you can listen to each separately from the other Others, and you can also mute each of them. And the invert button lets you listen to the difference between the original and adjusted levels. So if you turn any of the knobs, you can change the volume of each of the channels, or you can double click the volume text and just type out whatever decibels you need. And if you double click any of the knobs themselves, you reset it back to zero. Right at the top, you've got two buttons. One of them changes between mono and stereo, depending on what type of recording you're going to be using this for. And the one next to it is for eco mode, which makes the plugin take up less resources from your computer. But the result that you get for the channel separation is also not going to be as good. And then over on the right side, you've got a button to choose if you want the waveforms below to be split into three separate ones or all combined into one. And I usually just like leaving these as three separate ones. So I've been using this plugin a lot for some of my recent YouTube videos because it works really well. With no voice isolation or this plugin, you can hear the fan on my key light as well as a lot of reverb. And it doesn't sound great, but when I turn it on, it cleans up things a lot. And even if we just listen to the room tone on its own, when I drop the ambience level down, you should be able to hear a pretty big difference. All right, here is a recording indoors in a very noisy room with an AC unit as well as a bunch of fans scattered around. And now I'm gonna turn on the plugin and see if it can clean this up. All right, so now it should be on and let's see how this sounds. I hope that it sounds good from my testing, it should, but I guess we'll just have to see how it sounds in post. All right, here's a recording outdoors, cars passing by, uh, wind, just overall traffic sounds. Now I'm going to turn on the plugin and see if it can clean it up. I think it should also do pretty well here from my testing. It has so far at least, but uh, I guess we'll see. 
Since I started using it, I've actually been combining it with the built-in voice isolation in Resolve because I feel like each of them handles noise reduction in slightly different ways. So sometimes one of them is going to make up for whatever the other one couldn't clean up. And obviously you don't wanna go overboard with either one of them if you're gonna be combining them because that way you're just gonna get a horribly over-processed mess. But if you feel like one of them isn't giving you the exact results that you need, you could try using both together. And I usually keep the built-in voice isolation at a lower level, depending on how well the plugin cleaned up the audio before that. Finally, I just wanna quickly mention something about the price of it because I'm only showing you this plugin because I like it and not because I'm trying to sell it to you. This is definitely not a plugin that you pick up if all you film are things for fun or like family gatherings and your kids running around the house on holidays. I used to be a beta tester and I got an email with a discount code for the full release, which let me pick it up for 30 bucks. And at that price, it was more than well worth it. But like I said, right now at the time of recording this, it costs 69 bucks, but the usual non-sale price is supposed to be like 90 and depending on what you need it for, that might be a little bit too expensive. In a lot of cases, the built-in voice isolation is gonna be more than good enough, but there are moments when having that extra fine control that this plugin gives you can help you get better results. So if you make money by filming and editing stuff for clients and you need to clean up the audio for that a lot, then maybe it's a good investment, but otherwise you might just be better off sticking to the built-in voice isolation and resolve. So that's all I got for you. If you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll see you in the next one.